mounting up with wings like eagle. Kingdom Pattern The eagle was the most admired of all the birds, because of its power and majestic flight. Several armies in ancient times marched under the banner of the eagle. Included in such armies are that of Babylon, Persia, and Rome. In fact, the army of King Cyrus the Great, whose army had eagle in its banner fulfilled prophecy, when it descended on the city of Babylon, just like an eagle does to its prey. Isaiah 45 verse 1 Thus says the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have held to subdue nations before him, and loose the armor of kings, to open before him the double doors, so that the gates will not be shut. Isaiah 46 verse 11 Calling a bird of prey from the east, the man who executes my counsel, from a far country. Indeed I have spoken it, I will also bring it to pass. I have purposed it, I will also do it. The eagle is the most frequently mentioned in the scriptures, which the Bible uses to illustrate its message, using its characteristics to represent such things like wisdom, speed, and divine protection. While addressing Job, Jehovah mentioned this great quality of this bird, its ability to search out for its food from a far distance. Nevertheless, we are instructed in the Bible to never idolize its image, or of any other creatures. Exodus 20 verse 4 to 5 You shall not make for yourself a carved image any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth, you shall not bow down to them nor serve them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children to the third and fourth generations of those who hate me. Job 39 verse 27 to 29 Does the eagle mount up at your command, and make its nest on high? On the rock it dwells and resides, on the crag of the rock and the stronghold. From there it spies out the prey, its eyes observe from afar. The eagle's eye The eagle's penetrating eyesight, is one of its great abilities why it is one of the most admired. The eagle has the ability to see a tiny object from a great distance, and keep it in focus as it dives for it. The eagle's eyesight is used as a symbol of wisdom, which is one of the foremost qualities of Jehovah. Ezekiel 1 verse 10 As for the likeness of their faces, each had the face of a man, each of the four had the face of a lion on the right side, each of the four had the face of an ox on the left side, and each of the four had the face of an eagle. Revelation 4 verse 7 The first living creature was like a lion, the second living creature like a calf, the third living creature had a face like a man, and the fourth living creature was like a flying eagle. The eagle eyesight is used as a symbol of wisdom, because wisdom foresees the outcome of any action we may take. Because of the eagle's capacity to see far, it can see dangers that are afar off, and take precautionary actions. Proverbs 22 verse 3 A prudent man foresees evil and hides himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. Hence, a person who has wisdom has insight or discernment. He carefully scrutinizes a matter before making a decision, rather than trusting his instinct or his feelings. The keen eyesight of the eagle makes it an excellent symbol of the divine attribute of wisdom. The Bible says a Christian who is wise foresees the possibility of a storm, and as a result, built his house upon a rock, so as to withstand the coming storm. Matthew 7 verse 24 to 25 Therefore whoever hears these sayings of mine, and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who built his house on the rock, and the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, and it did not fall, for it was founded on the rock. Proverbs 28 verse 26 he who trusts in his own heart is a fool, but whoever walks wisely will be delivered. The Way of Eagle's Magnificent Flight The speed and the way the eagle seems to fly so effortlessly, makes its flight both striking and magnificent. The eagle follows no prescribed path, neither does it leave trail. Proverbs 30 verse 19 The way of an eagle in the air, the way of a serpent on a rock, the way of a ship in the midst of the sea, and the way of a man with a virgin. The scripture uses the eagle as a synonym for speed, 
because when the eagle spot its prey from afar off in the sky, it goes into a steep dive, reaching up to a speed of 80 miles per hour to catch its prey. Just like the eagle effortless flight, those who wait and trust in Jehovah will gain strength from God, to mount up with wings as eagle. Isaiah 40 verse 31 But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength, they shall mount up with wings like eagles, they shall run and not be weary, they shall walk and not faint. The effortless flight of the eagle is a striking illustration, of how the strength of Jehovah can lift us up spiritually and emotionally, so that we can do supernatural things effortlessly. We cannot rely on our abilities to soar high, just like the eagle does not rely on its own strengths to soar to great heights, hence we need to rely on Jehovah to have strength for all things. We must continue to seek for God's strengths through our fervent prayers. Philippians 4 verse 13 I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Luke 11 verse 9 So I say to you, ask, and it will be given to you, seek, and you will find, knock, and it will be opened to you. Luke 11 verse 13 If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? As Christians, we must likewise learn to rely on the strength of Jehovah, by imitating the faithful examples of heroes of faith that are recorded in the Bible, and other contemporary godly servants. 1 Corinthians 11 verse 1 Imitate me, just as I also imitate Christ. Jehovah's Guarantee Isaiah 40 verse 31 but those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength, they shall mount up with wings like eagles, they shall run and not be weary, they shall walk and not faint. Jehovah gave his worshippers the assurance that he will give them the strength they need to overcome or endure any problem they may face. Anyone who have hope or trust in Jehovah's ability and willingness to help his people will be strengthened and given spiritual wings to soar above difficulties. Therefore, we can count on his support. When we rely on Jehovah, he will empower us through his Holy Spirit. Just like we can see the effect of wind on the ability of the eagle to soar, similarly we will see the effect of God's power on those who rely on him. Proverbs 3 verse 5 to 6 Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding, in all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. Luke 11 verse 13 If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? Jehovah made the promise that those who trust in him will run, and not grow weary. We can keep going with the power God gives us, even though the problems of life can wear us out physically and emotionally. Jehovah can embolden and empower us to do the right thing in spite of severe difficulties and opposition. Philippians 4 verse 13 I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. The Jews saw this prophecy come into effect in their lives, when they returned from exile into their homeland. Jehovah gave them the power to accomplish a long and difficult trek from Babylon, the country of their exile to Jerusalem their homeland. That promise is still available today, to those who rely on Jehovah to accomplish seemingly impossible tasks. Isaiah 40 verse 1 to 3 Comfort, yes, comfort my people. Says your God. Speak comfort to Jerusalem, and cry out to her, that her warfare is ended, that her iniquity is pardoned, for she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. The voice of one crying in the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Isaiah 40 verse 29 He gives power to the weak, and to those who have no might he increases strength. At times, we may wish to fly away from all our difficulties, when faced with challenges. God did not promise to take challenges away from our lives, so as to live a problem-free life but what he promised us is that he will be with us, and empower us to overcome all our challenges. Psalm 55 verse 6 to 7 So I said, oh, that I had wings like a dove. I would fly away and be at rest. Indeed, I would wander far off, and remain in the wilderness. Selah
1 Corinthians 10 verse 13. No temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to man, but God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able, but with the temptation will also make the way of escape, that you may be able to bear it. There are reports of occasions when eagles briefly carry its young on its back, so that the young eagle would not crash in its early attempts to fly. So Jehovah promises to carry those who trust in him on eagles' wings. Exodus 19 verse 4 You have seen what I did to the Egyptians, and how I bore you on eagles' wings and brought you to myself. Therefore, whatever trial that we face, we can count on God through his Holy Spirit, to empower us to prevail and succeed. As Christians, we must not give in to discouragement, but should continue to walk in Jehovah's way, and we will not tire out, and he will give us the grace to mount up with wings like eagles. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 7 But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellence of the power may be of God and not of us. Isaiah 40 verse 31 But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength, they shall mount up with wings like eagles, they shall run and not be weary, they shall walk and not faint. The Good News The Gospel in a Nutshell Human inherited sin and sinful nature as a result of the sinful disobedience of the first human, Adam and Eve, and the punishment for sin is death, which means separation from God, the source of life, Romans 3.23, we cannot earn our salvation, for this reason Jesus Christ came into the world fully God and fully man. He perfectly obeyed God's law and perfectly fulfilled God's will. He died in our place and as our substitute, paying for our sins. He rose from the dead on the third day and ascended into heaven. He will one day return to the earth to establish his kingdom. If you truly repent from sinful ways, believe and accept Jesus Christ in your heart as Lord and Savior. You will be saved from judgment and spend eternity with God. Remember, Jesus is coming soon, are you ready? Be the first to know when new videos are published. Please like and follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the notification bell beside the subscribe button to be notified of new releases. Kingdom Pattern at www.youtube.com Crossway Christian Ministries 2 at gmail.com This is Kingdom Pattern, a ministry of Crossway Christian Ministries.